and welcome to Alton Towers. Alton Towers Resort, which we're here for two days. Which when did we do that last? Two weeks ago. Well, we must just love Alton Towers. We just left at quarter to four this morning. It's now twenty to nine. We really should just start leaving later, I think. <laughs> it's an off-peak midweek day today, so hopefully it's gonna be really quiet. We get loads of rides done. We got loads of rides done last week, didn't we? Last Although, week, week, before. week before, we did Chesnut last week. If you haven't seen the two videos of Alton Towers and Chesnut, go watch them after this video, and we'll see you in Tower Street. Sorry, wrong music. Fuck off, we're all on towers, not Fort Park. <laughs> Hopefully that gets rectified. Now it won't. But now, we're now on Tower Street. The famous frogs. Do you like the frogs, Rob? Frogs. <laughs> what do you think of the frogs? Great. <laughs> do they spring water? A little bit. <laughs> I like Tower Street. It's very vibrant. It brings characters to the park, don't you think? Right. <laughs> Full of optimism today, then, but full of I charisma. Huh? <laughs> Same. I was operating the big wheel yesterday. Yeah, I was doing. <laughs> Fair. So we're on Tower Street. I think we're going to go Wickham Man first. No, we're, we're, not going to Granny. we're not going against Granny first. We're not going against Granny first. Right, we're going to have this argument now, and uh, we'll see you when we're in the Wickham Man queue. <laughs> Isn't that just one of the most beautiful views in any theme park you've ever been to? Absolutely stunning. I do love looking at the towers. In the Scarefest, obviously, they do a few mazes in there and it's brilliant to be around. Alton Towers. It's where the Earl of Shrewsbury used to live. Oh, we know that. Yes. Go check that out. Yeah, go check that out. Same hex, still not operational. operational. Major technical difficulties, apparently. I just hope that they'll be able to fix it and they don't get rid of it because it's such a historic part of Owen Towers. People come here from all over the world just to, to ride Hex. Story. It's, yeah, the storyline is incredible. I think, I hands down say it's one of my favourite rides. Not just, I'm not putting in roller coasters and all that, just in general rides. Oh, Hex is up there. You love Gangster Granny. You're a weirdo. Why do you love Gangster Granny so much? Sit down. Because you get to see Liz. You love Liz, don't you? You love Liz. Look at this. Look at this. Got crispy cremel down in it. I was driving. What's that? Is that Biscoff? Yes. <laughs> don't eat and drive. Yes. Probably she. <laughs> think that's illegal, isn't it? No. <laughs> Won't be long until mutiny. So what's, what's that? Battle Galleons, that's it. So we go on the battle gun. It's probably not going to get it done today, but if it's hotter tomorrow, we won't get it Rob did say two weeks ago he'd be happy to do a full down. Oh, fish! The lovely rud. So we are now going to get ready to queue for 2018 GCI wooden roller coaster that is Wicker Man. If you've never been on Wicker Man, it's, oh, it's incredible. If you don't know what a GCI coaster is, it's a wooden coaster. It's a great coaster international, and they, they really are great coasters. I think it, it's up there. I think, I believe it's my, I believe it's my number three coaster. I lost my phone, which had, my old phone had my full list of every coaster I've been on, um, where I rate them. I'm not an sure. Wicker Man's number three, Megaphobia's two, and Icon's number one. Guess what my last bit's been like those bits of time. It's been a while since I heard that one. But yeah, it, I'll, I'll spin you the camera so you can see the absolute beauty of a roller coaster. Rob, Rob jokes around. You like Wicker Man. Are you serious, Robert? Oh, I suppose. Treat is alright, you suppose. Rob loves it, he's just being a silly billy. Spin the camera around. Look, look at that. Um, it's, it is stunning. 
we don't have to get in the queue line just yet, but it's incredible. The air time please is there. Oh, oh my god, I can't explain the love I have for this coaster. No, it's not fire, right? It's TVs. They do have actual fire, Rob. No, but that's TVs. Why are you being a sports ball? I don't know, it's TV. You can say it's TVs. Not sponsored, by the way. Sponsors, monster. So, a mid ride, a mid train ride there on Wicker Man. It's still a, such a good ride. I really enjoyed that. The airtime you get on that first drop is just amazing. And then going into that final section as well, the airtime is brilliant. Mm, donuts, it's lovely donuts. Um, it's a lot. It seems to be busier than it was a couple of weeks ago. We waited horribly. We, it's 23 minutes past 10 now. We didn't get into the queue line properly until 10 o'clock. So really, with the ride experience, we probably waited about 10 minutes for that ride. So it wasn't too bad. But just a bit disappointed that it was a mid-train ride. But it stays quiet. Hopefully, we'll get plenty more rides on Wicker Man. Watched our vlog from a couple of weeks ago. You'll know that. My whole perception on one specific ride has completely changed. And I'm now quite obsessed with it. Go left. Yes, go left. I'm now quite obsessed with this one particular ride. And uh, if you know, you'll know if you've watched that other vlog. But I'll give you a clue before we get down there. It was made in. Name was there? <laughs> no, okay. It was made in 1994. Leave you to ponder. So next up, the 1994 B&M inverted coaster, the beast that is Nemesis here at Alton Towers. Probably Alton Towers' most iconic, and arguably you could put it in the conversation to say UK's most iconic roller coaster. Definitely roller coaster, there. No need for that, Robert. No need for that. And this be harsh. I'm so excited to get back on this. We had so many, how many rows were we having it the other day? Yeah, Six. <laughs> Six. <laughs> and it was incredible. I've never, ha my feet have never hurted. <laughs> never been put through pain just by going on a roller coaster. <laughs> just because of how intense it is. But that don't look good. I've got a feeling it's closed. Don't tell me it's closed. Don't tell me it's closed. Don't tell me it's closed. It's closed. Oh. That's sad. Really, really sad. But, while we're here, that's also closed. Grr. We just walked down here. Skyrise at over to 11. I'm not walking. Rob, I'll let you go and go out to cut. Not a bit. Are you? I won't. I'm going to test you. So we'll stay down this area of the park. That's fine. You guys Yes. Listen to what I'm saying, right? We'll stay down this end of the park. Yes. You can go on Galactica. And then when it opens, we can go on it, okay? Did you get that back? Do you understand what I'm saying? I think it's kind of open. Yeah, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you, do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Thank you. You throw my brain. I don't know. I don't know whether we're going to stay, we're going to eat the beautiful pigs down here, which is uh, obviously our new hotel of choice for Towers, yeah. or come here to the uh, roller coaster restaurant. Hey, we were supposed to come here a couple of weeks ago, but the time we got back to the hotel, it was, we were knackered. And then Crazy Golf was closed. We were going to come back and do Crazy Golf and Roller Coaster Restaurant, but Crazy Golf actually shut at five. So we just didn't bother coming back to the roller coaster restaurant. So we stayed at the hotel and ate. But we'll make this decision tonight. Well, in a few hours. But until then, 
Rob's gonna go in Galactica and I might try to see if I can fit. I think you'll fit. Breathe in. Just my legs, I can't breathe in my legs. <laughs> so I just got on, I got on Galactica because the bloke wasn't scared to give me a push. We got you the first push now. Yeah, but what did I say last week? The reason why I didn't get on was yeah, because the person was too scared to push. I just thanked the guy, nice bloke. And so what? For a, an okay coaster, it's nothing great. We all know it's not special. It's probably one of the better rides I've had on it. That first drop on the back row, we just brought a back row, I forgot to mention. Um, you do get quite a bit of air time on that first drop, don't you? Then it's quite intense. It is quite intense. So, it is a pro. Do you know what, right? The park, I think, if it didn't have Galactica, this end of the park would be very, very boring. Not boring because obviously Nemesis here, Fung and Flies here, Blades here, but I just think it'd be a bit empty and I don't want to come out this way. I think if to come out this way for one coaster, I think it'd just be a bit of a pointless, pointless part of the park, if that makes sense. Just so I'm glad it's there, basically, what I was going to say. And we believe Nemesis is back open, so. Nemesis will be open soon. Oh, it's still not open. Filming. You are? Yeah, finishing filming. A filming? Oh, that's not fair, is it? It's quite a V-track, isn't it? No. No. You're not? That's Tom Scott, the YouTuber. Oh, well, why aren't we in there then? I'm a YouTuber. That's not fair. You? Well, we. That's not fair. Ugh. You're not on the right people. There's a lot of people who YouTube this place. Yeah, exactly. We don't get special treatment like that. I'm upset on this house. Fix it. Here we go. Nemesis, 1994 BM inverted coaster. People on it, we're open. Let's get our first ride of the day, which I hope to be many, on this beautiful coaster. I can't believe how much my mind has changed on this ride. It's incredible how much just two days can change your complete mindset on something. Big train there on Nemesis, but. Pretty impressive, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know where this newfound love for it has come from. Honestly, I don't. I used to think it was so overrated, but now it's all oh, that is good. That's a good coaster. It's only taken like five years for me to realise that it's a good coaster, but I'm there. I'm there now. I'm experimenting with life, and blades open. So while we're here, we might as well get on Blaze, the pirate. I'm just taking the lovely, calm, relaxing sky ride here at Alton Tower. If it fell over the garden, you would not survive. Yes, you'd be fine. You would survive. You wouldn't. You'd be fine. You would be fine. Like that man said, they've got a dedicated rescue team. But anyway, Rita, 13. We're about to check them off our list for rides of the day. Then. We're gonna go do the most gangster, gangster granny in the whole entire world. You know, she robs Liz. Can't blame her. How Rich. incredible. They're plays of the Yeah. Then after that, smaller, oblivion. Then we repeat the process. No, no, spinball. Oh, and spinball. Then we repeat. Wicked Man, Nervousness, Galactica. Now I know I can get that. Just have to go at the back. I've got a way to invest. Where that man is. I know him, I'll remember him. Top geezer. Probably put an Essex slang into this video. I think I've really just got to embrace the Essex ness, I think. Diamond geezer. Diamond geezer. Yeah. Proper Essex slang. Anyway, there we go. I don't want to escape, you know. Essex lads on tour, innit? <laughs> Unnecessary screaming. So Rita's done and it's as um, brilliant as ever. Really? That's more. No, Rita's um, Rita's Rita, isn't it? It's you a know, nice click to it. You know what you can expect. Launch. First corner. No, to be fair, it's, I'm a bit criticised, critical over it because of obviously stealth, icon and things like that. Um, but I do think if you're just getting into launch coasters, Rita's probably the best one to do. Because, 
for beginners, for beginners for people that want to really get into launch codes so, so they can go on stealth, icon, things like that. Things like Rita, Velocity, they're quite good coasters for that. So I would heavily suggest if you want to start getting into those types of coasters, Rita is a good starting point. But now if you hadn't guessed already, you're walking up to the woods. But we get told not to go down to the woods alone, so Rob's with me, so I'm too I'm too scared to go on this my own. Yeah. So yes, the Interwin Family Drop Coast of the Thieves 13. Yeah. At Orson Towers. But next year, it's 13 years old. So I wonder if they're going to do anything special. Maybe the 13 gold. Who knows? Update on the old uh, busyness situation. What? It's quite busy. Well, it's not hindsight, it's quite busy. Just looked on the app. Everything's five minutes, ten minutes. Apart from Smiler. Smiler's 40 minutes. So I'm single rider in that, whether Rob likes it or not. I'm not waiting for 40 minutes. Not on a six hour day, I'm not. Yeah. No, we're not. I'm single rider in it, whether you're going on it or not. But this is a, I don't think this is 10 minutes either. I'd say this is probably more like 20 minutes. But it doesn't matter. What we got? Yes. I'd definitely say that it's probably the, the better of the two rides down in the dark forest. Oh, I love the drop section and the backwards section. It's got the best lawn at all the towers in my opinion. And that's the exaggeration. Rio's got the, the lawn is alright on the Rio, to be fair. But now, Rob's getting his wish, we're gonna go on the most gangsterest of grannies, aren't we, Bert? Yes, yes it is. And then we're gonna get on a single rider queue for Smile. Thanks to the grannies now, peoples. Gangster granny time, Rob, are you excited? Oh yeah. You love gangster granny. You looking forward to seeing your mate Liz? I am. You like Liz, didn't you? I do. I'm trying to stop stealing objectives. Oh, yeah. You know, you're supposed to help the granny. Oh, we help granny. Not help Liz. You just like being in company of your good friend, didn't you? Yes. I do. Are we on a drop tower? It's not open. That's a shame, isn't it? Last week we went on uh, Dragon Fury, but the four of us been with us. So, like, and last week we had probably the best spinning coaster ride we've ever experienced. Now, I still believe Spimble Wizard, the coaster in general, is a better coaster, but that one particular ride in Dragon Street was incredible. Non stop spinning, my guys, non stop spinning. So, Spimble Wizard, practice zero minute queue. And then we're going to make our way around and do the Smile Out and Oblivion. And that's all the coasters conquered. Then we're going to go back. Wicker Man, Nemesis Show. And then I'll put it in today. Oh, and we've booked this roller coaster restaurant. We are going five o'clock. We may have a bit of, bit of golf if we've got enough time. So, Spimble Wizard. Woohoo! We're alive! Woohoo! What a ride! Spimble Wizard, you're all in towers. Yeah, Spimble Wizard now. Yeah, a lot more air time. It's a much more enjoyable ride experience to say. What do you think, Bert? Oh, yeah, but overall, it's more compact, so it's better. Yeah, I agree. So, we're gonna walk down into the exit of the sectors. X sector, where we're gonna ride the most smiliest of rides in Smiler and the most oblivious ride in Oblivion. Oblivious? Yes. Right then, we're in the X sector. 
here at Owen Towers. Where we have two roller coasters on offer. Smaller and on the set you'll see it. The most oblivious of rides. Oblivion. Which you're not allowed to look down for some reason. Don't know how I look down for. I always look down, I break the rules, I'm a rebel, I'm a rule breaker. So next up, the smiler. Here are all the towers. Brilliant ride there on Smiler, the Gerslauer Infinity Coaster. Next up, next to it, Oblivion. I'm feeling rebellious. So I'm gonna look down. So lovely coaster this one. It's the first ever BM dive coaster. So this ride holds a lot of history and we're lucky enough to go on this in a quite regular regular way. Uh, we, well, we only come in four or five times a year, but four or five times a year more than most people have been on it. So, Oblivion, I'm going to look down. I'm going to feel, I feel rebellious. Well, Oxnorts is a coaster, but if we miss that one, I'm not going to cry. It's not a coaster in my brain, it's a coaster. It's not one of the big coasters. So the last big-ish coaster series, the Runaway Mine Train. We're now going to do it. We may even have time for another ride on the Wicker Man. Oh my goodness gracious me, that's a cue. So that's the Runaway Mine Train done. Pick off the list. So what does that mean, Bert? Uh, not that way. But, what does that mean? Dino Apart from Octonauts, but yeah, I don't really count. Because Dino one. CBB's happening. Safe in time. But, yeah, they're all done. We're now going to go to Nemesis, finish the day. Then we're going to charge our phone, my phone in the car, because we've got another special little vlog tonight, haven't we, Rob? Would you like to um, enlighten us on what it's going to be? Not cricket. That's not cricket, Bob. No, that's not cricket. Golf. Adventure golf. If you've never played adventure golf here, each of the holes, it's been to a roller coaster here at all the towers. It's a really cool, it's a really cool adventure golf. Um, last time, I can't remember who won. Uh, Tara won it last time. Me and you were like in the lead. Kind of the whole way, weren't we? And then she overtook us right at the last couple of holes. But, yeah, adventure golf and then roller coaster restaurant at five. Excited for the evening ahead, Rob? Yes. And then we're going to go back to the hotel, have a few stars, a few star requirements, then bed. And then bed. And then the challenge tomorrow. So we'll know, you'll know what the challenge will be if you go on TikTok and vote, but there's no point going and vote because it'll be over and done with. But you'll already have a little bit of an insight if you watch this video before you watch it. Our last ride of the day here at Alton Towers Resorts, Nemesis 1994 BNM Inverted Coaster. But if you, if you haven't been on this, you need to get down here and get as many rides as possible because at the start of next season, we believe it to be, it can have a full new retrack. So it's going to be basically a completely new coaster. Ooh. You looking forward to the new Nemesis? I don't know. One or the other, isn't it? Yeah. But they, they're, kept, they're being sentimental, they're keeping their probably the most legendary coaster of all time and redoing it so people can ride Nemesis for another 30 years but it won't ever be the same it won't be the original Nemesis 
but it will still be Nemesis, just not the original. I can honestly say, out of all the coaster rides we've done this year, Nemesis has been the best, I think. The most consistent throughout the year, what do you think? Yeah, but the overall ride experience, I, I'd say, yeah, Nemesis is for a beat. If, I'm, if I do it yeah, this year alone, I haven't been on Icon, I haven't been on Megaphobia, this year alone, Nemesis has been the best coaster I've been on. Hands down, I've been on Swarm, we've been on Stealth, we've been on Wicker Man, we've been on, all, we've been on a lot of coasters this year. We haven't done it further this year, but that ain't talking about. Sorry, that ain't. That, that has been incredible this year. And I, I'm blown away by it every single time. <clears throat> so I'm kind of hoping this challenge is a day on this, to be honest. Because if you can get pins and needles on a coaster, because <laughs> of the intensity, <sighs> it's just incredible. But yeah, that is the end of the day. Well, end of the theme park vlog. We're now going to the car, charge the phones, going to do a bit of adventure golf, and then, no, that's not cricket, Rob, come on. A bit of adventure golf, and then over to the roller coaster restaurant. Yeah, come back for that. Then the roller coaster restaurant for dinner, and uh, I'm looking forward to that, you, Rob? Yes. We went in there earlier to book our table because we couldn't do it online, and then. Um, that was disgusting. We had burger kits in earlier. I had potatoes. Yeah, it was potato sticks, um, not chips. onion in batter, not ba not onion rings, onion in batter. Not batter. <laughs> no. um, I had the most bland mozzarella sticks ever. It was disgusting. It was completely disgusting. So I can't. That's, last time we went there was lovely. They do a. I see it earlier. They do a pulled brisket beef burger. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. So yeah, back to the car, charge the phone, golf, another vlog for that. The roller coaster restaurant, we'll get in that, so we'll do an evening of evening of Alton Towers, additional things. So yeah, we're here, we're at Alton Towers, again. We're theme park days and we are out.